sketchy Al. So this is kind of ironic, due to being a native Kelly girl. I somehow missed out experiencing earthquakes growing up, mostly due to spending most of my childhood years in New Mexico, where earthquakes are pretty much non-existent over there. It wasn't until I was in high school I finally experienced my first earthquake in the worst possible way to me. Oi. It happened to occur in the middle of the night. I'm a bit of a light sleeper and slowly woke up to my bed moving around quite a bit. At first I thought it was my dog, Sophie Bean, a large yellow lab, scratching herself again, bumping into my bed at the same time while handling her itch in the middle of the night, like she has done many times in the past. But I realized this time, my bed was moving way more than usual when she did that. So I opened my eyes a bit and saw the foot of my bed was way higher than my head. In the next millisecond, I looked over and saw my dog looking back at me with much confusion on her face. On what the heck was going on? She's never experienced earthquakes before either, poor thing. Then I turned my head to look out the windows, and there I saw the clear night sky lighting up with random flashes of light. It finally hit me. <laughs> Those were power lines snapping from the teetering of the poles. I watched a lot of natural disaster shows on Discovery Channel growing up, and they always showed the power lines falling down with sparks falling all around. Since I'm no way experienced at all on the proper way to take cover in such of an event, <laughs> I just hid under my blanket and begged for it to be over with. The type of earthquake happened to be a rolling kind, like ocean waves when floating on top of the water. Overall, it seemed to me that it lasted about a good seven minutes, and when it was finally over, my adoptive grandmother ran over to check on us. I was shaken like a leaf, but my younger brother happened to be fast asleep throughout the whole ordeal. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. So after all of that, there was no way I was going back to bed that night. So I stayed up watching the news until the sun rose. It turned out to be a 6.4 quake. Then it finally dawned on me, while the sky was getting lighter, that aftershocks are a thing. Luckily for me, that never happened that night. Phew! But ever since, when I experienced more earthquakes at lesser degrees while living in SoCal, I'm still just as shaken at the same level. All because of the worst timing of my first one. I've been traumatized! Funny enough though, with that very same earthquake, my birth mom was tossing and turning in her bed that night, needing to use the bathroom. Finally, the pressure to go became too much to handle, so she very groggily got up and made her way to the john. The very moment she finally sat down to go, the earth moved right under her. Oh my god, the timing! <laughs> she, however, was used to earthquakes, so she just sat there, waiting for the quake to pass until she was free again to finish business and go back to bed. <laughs> and that's pretty much the tale of my first earthquake. I just shudder <laughs> at the thought when I hear about them from friends that live there. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for checking out my story today. Please subscribe -y if you like you to see more of my videos. I hope you look forward to the next one. Ciao!